Ladies and gentlemen, it's the great William Montgomery, everybody. Here we go. Here he comes. Wow. Yeah. I'm excited about this. Come on, guys. Make some fucking noise for William Montgomery. I've, uh, I've been going to the airport a lot lately, not flying on planes, but stealing people's shit. Uh, you're going to Jacksonville? Your bag's not. You're flying in Russia? I've heard bad things about the airspace. Your bag's not following you. Man, get off my cape. That is he, Black Dracula? Um... So it's hard doing cocaine with Dracula because whenever we're bent down in front of the mirror, uh, I can't see his fucking reflection. <laughs> hey, Dad, uh, just put it in the tarantula bag. <laughs> I don't know if... Uh, Y'all are familiar f God, how's it? Hell yeah, William. Another, another new minute. Did, did you have something there at the end, or were you just stalling for time with the I don't know if you're familiar with? Did you have something you wanted to do? Did I just wanna... picture I'm, I'm such a huge fan, so I'll, I just... Well, do you my mind name standing, is Sal, but thank do you. you. Mind... <laughs> Sal is my name, but I appreciate your fandom. I just Friendship. remember one of my uh, favorite sketches you did, pulling pranks on people. You put that tarantula in, in, the, uh, in the sack during Halloween, just all the kids getting the candy, and you had the tarantula in the sack, and was the kid you, would... Was that you, Sal? Do you remember doing this? What, he, tarantula? No, I, I, I am not sure that's the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one of the things William does is sometimes it, it appears as if though he makes stuff up, and then we, if you, but if you roll with it, he just keeps, uh, he keeps going. Oh. Yes, Al, I think it was in 96. Uh, um. Oh, I thought you meant on the show, which started in 2011. 96, I did Yeah, that. no, 96, <laughs> we were hanging out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was so crazy. Y'all will yeah. never believe this. Sal was putting tarantulas in, uh, in the Halloween bags. God. You told me you'd never say anything. I knew one day you would. And, you know, now, that, now you did. I can't believe this. Sal was uh, uh, 23. I was 16. It's so nice <laughs> yeah. seeing you again. Yeah, you too. You too. Why didn't you guys ever stay in contact after that? What oh, happened? no, we did. We did. Oh, I just okay. haven't seen him this week. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we're very good friends. We're both on AOL. We, uh, You've got me. Yeah. He's yeah. Funmount69 at AOL. Mm-hmm. Right? And you're Pat 106. Pat right? 106. Hey, yeah. 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 I love it. Uh, that's so fun. So, William, uh, we missed you in New York. You were not able to get off of the self storage unit job that you have, that you actually work. That is an actual truth that you work at a self storage place. It is. I couldn't get off. My boss actually watched. I was talking about getting fired. I didn't get fired. Your, your boss but my boss saw me calling her a bitch, your, your, which was horrible. Your boss really watched last week's episode? She did. Why? Which pissed me off. I Again, last Monday, the crazy He told her to. Guy. I always tell him, don't tell your boss yeah. to watch because then you can't you prohibit yourself. She watched. He tells her to watch. He says, bitch, now he's in trouble at work. Tell him about it. Yeah, tell us more. Yeah, I mean, if if she could have only seen Sal, you and I, it was so fun, just 96. 96, yeah. Atlanta, Georgia, just just thinking about making pipe bombs, just being in that house. I know. Just ending up putting the them under the so bleachers. Hot, yeah, it was so, so hot. hot. It yeah. was so hot. It was humid too, right? It was a nightmare. Mosquitoes everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, we had the deed, the, the deep woods deed. So it was a big deal. Yeah, deep wood yeah. deed. This uh, episode tonight is dedicated to deep wood deed. Fun fact about uh, fun fact about William and mosquitoes. I actually know this. He actually bites mosquitoes. I okay, do. Did. Not a lot of people know this about me. I have really sharp front teeth, so I can. Uh, it's actually yeah. a sound. Do y'all hear? Do y'all know what a mosquito sound like? I yeah. can't. I can't. That's a. The sweet, sweet sound of mosquitoes. <laughs> Mousekeetos. Mousekeetos. 
Uh, so William, um, did you ever find the person's number that offered you a much better paying job with working your own hours and you'd be able to do comedy at places? I never did. What was her name? Let's call her out right at, can she give me her number again? I, I know she's a fan of the show. I know that they come here quite often. So I figure if we just keep talking about it eventually, maybe they'll track you down. Um, or, uh, or something like or that. Or maybe not. That's what I'm worried about. If I'll be quite frank, I don't think I've I told this to anybody, but when my comedy doesn't work out out here, I picture myself moving back to Memphis, becoming an eighth grade English teacher. William. All black, inner city school, maybe Frazier, maybe Southside, getting into dog gambling across the tracks, West Memphis, Arkansas, just starting to lose. William, and, do you have a website? Like, do you have a website? I do. What is it? <laughs> William? <laughs> it is there's there's AOL. Only, there's only... com. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The reason why I ask is because today's episode is brought to you by Wix. Wix is the best and easiest place to create a professional website. With Wix, you can start from scratch or choose from over 500 stunning templates. They have the world's most innovative drag-and-drop website builder, so you can easily customize your site and add text, images, videos, whatever you want. You can even use Wix ADI, Artificial Design Intelligence. Just answer a few simple questions about you or your business, and Wix will create a stunning website for you. You, you, you know, know a lot about this, Brian. Yeah, I, used to, I went to college for, uh, to, to make websites, and... I thought it was a great thing until everyone wanted me to make them a website. That was one of the most annoying things that I had to deal with like five years ago. This website, you just do a couple things and you have a website. I don't know if you're... Hey, shut up! I'm talking! Keep going, Brian. I am just so passionate about Wix, you know, because it is... Anybody can do this. You know, it, it's just drag and drop. It's amazing. And I don't get those phone calls anymore because everybody could do it. If you could do a, a couple things with your fingers, you can make an awesome website. And if you go to Wix.com slash Tony, you get 10% off any premium plan. You can start building your website and publish it for free. So once more, join over 150 million people who have built their website using Wix. Go to Wix.com slash Tony to get 15 to get 10% off any premium plan. That's 10%. Mm, you said 15. <laughs> Everybody heard it. Everybody heard it. Son of a bitch. Uh, 15%. You have to honor it. I think this is a, a good uh, good time to plug my website. It's Tic Tac Toe 2. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow. W- William, did AOL. anything else? Com. William. It's a very competitive website if you're into oh internet God. gambling. Yes, <laughs> William, <laughs> you're unbelievable. Uh, heck yeah! Everything, me, everything you say is <laughs> so stupid <laughs> that it's hysterical. You're really you're hysterical. Sal, can you get me on the show? <laughs> Sal, will you get me on the show? <laughs> you, you <laughs> William, get me on the attack. show. Give me all the show! <laughs> Sal, give me all the show! Sal, give me on! Sal, please! I got a lot riding on this! I don't want to move back to Memphis! I don't want to work in Fraser! I'll tell you what, buddy. I can't teach English! William, William. Look at me. I don't pet on dogs! William, hey. William, over here. I never. I never do this, and I've never done this, but absolutely not. Hey, there you go. However, you can go to Wix.com slash Tony, and you'll get 10% off any yeah, premium plan, way better. How about one more time, good and loud, for the great and powerful go. William Montgomery, everybody. Hell yeah. There he goes, the great William, William Montgomery. Here we go. Here he is, the monster. I need you guys to make no- a lot of noise one yeah, more what time. what the fuck is going on? The fuck is going on? So uh, my dad's been telling everyone he teaches self-defense classes, and 
every time I'm just like, Dan, it's just me, you, and Mom wrestling around up in y'all's fucking room. Quit getting me in those holes. That's my best joke. It scares me. Y'all didn't laugh at that. Um, I don't know if y'all have seen Honey, I Shrunk the Kids yet, but that glitter scene... That's my best joke, so it scares me. Y'all aren't laughing at that. Um, So, uh, I don't know if y'all heard about that guy that got beat up out front of the grocery store by all the black belts. Y'all are in for a treat. This is probably my best impression. Uh, That is the, the guy who confuses black belts with black people. Wow, William Montgomery. Doing it again. Woo! Came Tony, in with a lot of might. energy. Guns a blazing. Lots of energy from the top. Dialed it back as he went on. This was an interesting approach. Guns a blazing. I'm trying to have fun tonight. Uh, ten years ago, my Aunt Mary died uh, on July 4th, so I'm trying to sort of keep it cool. It was a, a grisly scene. There was yeah. blood everywhere. She got cut in half on a railroad track. She had... Had a diabetes. Di- oh, wait. She had, wait a second. So she had diabetes, and yeah. then on July 4th, she's doing what? Walking across the railroad track? She was. She couldn't hear. The diabetes took the, uh, the ability for her to hear. She was on a train track. I was with my brother, Vance, just on the side of the hill. Wow. That's it. Aunt Mary, hang on a second. Just sort of what haunts me is I was on that side of the hill. I saw Aunt Mary, her abdomen on one side of the tracks, her legs on the other. Oh. She got cut in fucking half. I did CPR on her. I tried to save her. You did. <laughs> you did. Which half did you do CPR on? The top half or the bottom half? Her bottom half. <laughs> God, we are, we're, we are something else, William. Man. Yeah, it was a horrible struggle. I can't. Let me take that one more time. It was a horrible uh, struggle. At first, I thought her favorite holiday was Easter. Turns out it was uh, July 4th, and she was walking on those train tracks. Yeah. Tim, the only reason I don't, y'all, I think are going to appreciate this. Tim, I did a lot of research on you. I heard about your uncle that got cut in half on the train tracks. Uh, it was a very, it was kind of expected. We expected it. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, it wasn't shocking, but it still hurt him. Hurt him. Just yeah. slow motion, yeah. MIA paper planes in the background. Yeah. That was what was playing in the background. Just yes. in the background, yes. Tim and I in the bushes, just watching him getting cut in half. That was his favorite song, Paper Planes, by yeah. MIA. Yeah. Yeah. Just Tim and I in the bushes, just watching the grisly scene, yes. Tim screaming at me. Yes. Both of us Give masturbating. We don't know why, but. Yeah. It's great yeah. song. It's a great it, song. It's just like that. And that's Tim, will you get up here for one second? Will you yeah. do the dance we did? Oh, oh, you yeah. guys did a oh, dance. You put that song on one more time. They did a dance. Yeah. It, it was as out. my uncle was being uh, severed. Yeah, they, they did a <laughs> dance together, it turns out. Here it is. They're about to do it. A little more volume on that music. Let's see what happens here. Hey, oh. Tim, is your uncle cut in half? Oh, my God, that sucks. He had kids. And then, and then what was the He dance? had kids? He had kids, and now they're not going to have a dad, or they'll have two dads. Hold on, what's my kid doing here? Let's give it up for uh, Travis. Tra- <laughs> William, what was the dance that you guys did? Yeah, this was it, actually. This was our dance. <laughs> Just us standing by yeah. the bush. We had been in a car accident the week earlier, and we're both paralyzed. I can't feel my fucking legs at the time. <laughs> wow. All right. This uh, was the dance. That was incredible. Hey, Tony. Yes, Joelberg, Joel Jimenez. So, so the woman that's been trying to hire William uh, reached out to me and asked me if she should bring paperwork tonight. Yeah, William. Uh, well, that woman should be in jail. We have been trying to get you a new job. Uh, is that something that uh, you're ready to do? Are you going to quit your job at the self-storage unit? 
I'll just be quite frank. I refuse to work at Kmart. They're trying to get me a gig working the IC machine at Kmart. I can't drink those fucking things. No, it's not Kmart, William. No, I don't think. I don't think. Kmart. Oh, it's not Kmart. Yeah, no, it's not Kmart. Oh, whoa! My apologies. <laughs> See, that's my best. Tra- it scares me. Y'all aren't laughing more. I've really worked on that face. Hold on, you're. What does a woman want to hire you to do? She wants. I'm. I am a fan of walking dogs. She heard about that. She heard about a couple years ago. She wants him to be a uh, weed delivery driver. Yeah, a weed delivery person. Yeah. Okay. Even well. though you do look like you would be one of those dog walker guys. That looks like a fitting job for you. Like dog and just pe- walking up to the door. I'm fucking sick. I'm going to walk slow. <laughs> Is that you yelling at dogs? Are you yelling at dogs or the people that own the dogs? I don't just me yelling that. at my aunt, just horrified, knowing I can't save her. Can you do a? Can you do an all-out impression of the second, of the exact moment? I want you to look out there and pretend like you're in the bushes again. It's July Fourth. There's fireworks, and the train comes. Your aunt gets hit. Show this audience exactly what it was like for you. Mary, what the fuck are you doing? I love you so much. Oh, Why are you walking on the tracks? Oh, it's going to hit her. Here it comes. You can't hear. Mary! Oh, oh my God. She's in two pieces. Now what ha- Now what'd you do? Just me looking over at my brother Vance. Vance, I don't know if we could. <laughs> That's what you did? Yeah, I said, Vance, I don't know if we can save her. She... Had diabetes for six years. I don't know if y'all are familiar with that disease, but it really <laughs> sort of takes the taste out of your taste buds. It sort of takes the treble out of your ears. Wow. All right. Well, William. Um, <laughs> wow. This was another... She's in a better place yeah. now. For sure. Uh, she's on the right side of the tracks. Yeah. So she's got it all figured out now. William, I really hope that you take this job that they're offering you. It's going. I think to she may be here tonight, actually. So. Yeah, I th- I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're going to follow up with you tonight. Listen, Williams. don't take it if you don't want to fucking I, take it. I'm starting to think he what doesn't I, want to. What this I worry thing. about it's yeah. not full time, and with my current job, I have health insurance. Yeah. I worry but about. But William, that. you never use your health insurance. We've talked about this. There's this thing that it, your dad has instilled in your head that you need health insurance you because don't. he feels like he can't protect Y'all you. Y'all don't repeat this. Something that scares me. I've been horribly unhealthy for years now. Yeah, And when I am putting deodorant under my arms, there's a little spot that hurts a little bit. Isn't that where your lymph nodes are? Yes. I'm worried I have cancer. Oh. Well, when's the last time you saw a doctor? Why it, don't, why it's don't, cured, hold, remember? Hold on. You have to, that's a different, not all cancers are the same, Brian. Yeah. yeah you have to, is that true what you're saying? Totally Is true. there a doctor in the house tonight? Is there anybody with any nursing or Dr. medical Kalani? experience? Dr. Kalani? Clearly not. Probably. Is, there, is there a single doctor anywhere of any kind? Dr. Kalani? Is there really a doctor over there? No? All right. I was just figuring we could but, check William for cancer. But that would also be very weird if we found out William had cancer on this show. <laughs> that would be crazy. The bad case scenario would be one of the yeah. saddest moments. That would be a fun, <laughs> fun improv challenge, you know? <laughs> Zipper How good like, are we? He's got AIDS. Go! Well, William, he plays I, the Ouija board a bunch. It does a great Schwarzenegger impression. William, the catch with you work in he that storage. He plays Monopoly. The catch with William working the storage unit job is that he absolutely can never do the road at all, ever. He can never do any gig outside of Los Angeles for life if you keep doing that job. Uh, so what do I, I do? I implore you to go get a checkup, get your lymph nodes checked, and if you don't have cancer, get the fuck out of the self-storage unit and get her, get the, take the job. Yeah. Me with the lady tonight. There he goes, William Montgomery, everybody. You've seen this young man before. We're absolutely in love with him. He's an improvisational guru. I'm excited to see what new minute he has this week. He's truly one of my favorite things in all of comedy. It is the one, the only, William Montgomery. <laughs> Come on, guys, make some fucking noise. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? My brother's here. So I've been uh, wearing scrubs recently. You know, people think you're a doctor. 
I find myself in the CVS bathroom with just Egyptian bitches coming up to me being like, hey, my arm hurts. Bitch, I can't fix your arm. I'm not a doctor. So uh, everything's been going pretty good in my life recently other than my addiction to whippets. I don't know what to do with all the canisters. I don't... I don't know what to do. Um, Antarctica, the poor man's Japan. That's an ESPN shirt. I, I work for ESPN. It's a... If I'm going to be honest, a lot, of, a lot of people say I look like Bonnie Raitt. <laughs> you want something to talk about? I want something to talk about in the CVS bathrooms. There you go. Brand new minute from William Montgomery. Did it again. Came out with an interesting William look this week. This is very exciting. I like this new stepfather version of uh, William I Montgomery. actually I ended up becoming a, uh, a teacher in Memphis. Um, You've been teaching in Memphis this week. I have for six months. Uh, sort of rewind. 15 years, I had a student named Timothy in Oklahoma. He decided to try to get involved with the special forces. He didn't make it. What? He started reading a bunch of books. He sort of got disenchanted with the government. What? He got a rider van. He filled it with explosives. I told him not to. Wait a second. Are you? He talking, ended up you're talking, ended up in front of the Oklahoma Federal Building. Oh my goodness! This Twelve is... p.m. You were his teacher. I was his teacher. I taught Timothy him Spanish. McVeigh. I'm pretty sure that was in like 91 or 92 or something like that. What worries me is when I was his teacher, he was like, hey, William, I don't know how to conjugate this verb. And I just stared him in his fucking eye. And I was like, William, you mean Guillermo? I love it. <laughs> William, you do this weird thing where sometimes you'll end your jokes staring right into Dane Cook's soul for some yeah, reason. Yeah. Hey, Dane. You know what I'm excited about? I don't know if you heard the news this past week, but the new Disney movie, The Little Mermaid, there's actually going to be a black Little Mermaid. Y'all give it up. Baking soda. Wow, that is very exciting. First black Dane, here's my point. First I'm black so woman to uh, be able to swim, right? Okay, come on, guys. It's Monday night. We're not on. Yeah, a hey, network. bitch, you were at CVS last night asking me about band aids. I'll be quite frank. Uh, during the the earthquake this past week, yeah, I found myself just buried under rubble. You were. Weirdly what? enough, listening uh, to Brick by. Uh, Somebody yeah. help me on that. Ben Folds 5. Ben Folds 5. Ben Folds 5, Brick. Yeah. And I called up Chris, and he was like, hey, William. And I was like, it's gear. Uh, <laughs> I'm working on callbacks, Dane. Guillermo. Dane, my point is about the Black Little Mermaid. I th Will you play it? Do you mind? Yeah, go ahead. For, I think, my best joke. And again, when I heard about Ariel being maybe a girl from Memphis, maybe from Birmingham, <laughs> Maybe from Michigan, her dad is a professor of engineering up at Michigan. And just a little cut scene of her down under the water, messing around Are with her things. And her. My point is, I think my joke, one wait, of my wait, best wait, jokes. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Here's my best joke. Here's you, my wait, best wait, joke. But, but does this have to do with what you were just talking about? Oh, Totally. Okay, go ahead. Just looking at the comb, thinking, oh, my God, it doesn't have enough bristles. And just right then, a slow-motion cut scene of me hitting some Filipino girl in the CVS bathroom. 
I'm sick of it. I have fucking Speedo goggles on trying to do the fog off with my forefingers. Here's my only point. Y'all are in for a treat. I think my best joke is going to do better once she becomes the Little Mermaid. Here it is. Um, Okay. Here's my impression of the Black Little Mermaid. Oh, my God. You're going to do an impression? You want think of a bops? I got 20. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know. If... What the fuck did you just say? Oh I have chlamydia. Wait, is this still the impression or is this you? I have chlamydia. You do. Is this the Little Mermaid? Or I you? can't feel my legs. Oh, it's the Little Mermaid. And I'll be quite frank. If y'all really think about the song, Brick, it's about an abortion. It is? Is that true, William? Totally. Have you ever had, a, have you ever had an abortion? Have you ever, ever had a, been with a girl a and she had to get, get an abortion? What scares me is I picture me telling my parents a dress and then right after that saying, yeah, I had an abortion. And just a slow motion cutscene, maybe <laughs> MIA paper planes playing. <laughs> And a doctor Wait. putting some sort of a tube up my butthole, just saying, Doctor, I'm a boy. I can't have a kid. Wait, what? <laughs> you, 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 wait. Okay. Is this all the Little Mermaid still? <laughs> <laughs> Flounder is the doctor just putting slowly his gloves on. Sebastian uh, is getting the tube uh, out. Uh, 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 is, I can't. Uh, Making a list. Uh, checking it twice. Uh, gonna find out if you're not your knife. Uh, Take a look in my book. Uh, it's about uh, everything. Wow. No, but seriously, Timothy McVeigh, when I taught him, I had a bad feeling about him. I'll be quite frank. He killed a bunch of kids. He killed a bunch of families. He killed police officers. He didn't William. care. William, 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 William. Last week you told us that your aunt got hit by a train and split into two. You said you tried to do mouth and mouth to mouth to save her on the bo- but you but you did it on the bottom half. Uh it was an amazing moment. She called me the next day and she was like, She's I don't get who that guy is up there talking about. Basically, my point is, I was in. Your aunt called you the day after you did that? <laughs> William, I don't know what's real and what's not anymore. We've, we've gone to the next level here. Uh, William, how's the job at the self-storage unit been treating you? It's pretty good. I had a couple of tin by... Is that funny? Are we... I've been having a real good time. I've, I've, I will let y'all in on a little secret. Yeah. There are coughing pills called Coracetin. I'm on five of them right now. I'm badly addicted. I can't stop. I tried to break into Wendy's last night. You tried to break into a Wendy's? So what happened? I got the Dave stubble. (laughs) (laughs) You broke in and you made it yourself? And there was a lady worker in there, and I was like, hey, bitch, get to the fucking bathroom. What are you, Filipino? I don't get it. I don't care. What I'm you, on. And then what, what'd you do to this Filipino girl? Can you put brick on? No, no, no. There's no more brick. Brick's gone. Basically, right. I got her in the bathroom, and the closer I looked in her eyes, the more I thought, oh, my God, is that Patricia from Memphis? Y'all, I apologize. I'm working on jokes. I'm working right. on... Patricia, right. William, William, one last thing before I let you go. Uh, this has become insane. Um, is there anything that you'd like? Have you gotten any 
one of the things we like that you do sometimes on the show is you acknowledge your haters out there and you teach them a little less. Is there anything you'd like to say to any internet trolls or anything? Yeah, what I would like to say is the bitch ass motherfucker cracker barrel kid 52 just picture a cutscene of you and I on the Titanic. It's slowly <laughs> sinking. <laughs> And you bending over and me fucking you and you looking back being like, William, is it true you have chlamydia? And I whisper into your bitch ass ear, yeah, it is. Do you know how to swim? And I just force your face in the water. I drowned you. And I go from room to room just knowing I can kill a bunch of fucking people. No one's ever going to know. The ship's going down. It's made of steel. It hit an iceberg. It's a nightmare. Just Dane and I going room to room. I Dane putting it. on the handcuffs. That me is... fucking them. And Larry, my father, watches this. Larry, I apologize. I'm kidding. That is right. That is, he's talking to his father. He's letting them know that if he was on the Titanic it, when it was going down, he wouldn't murder a bunch of people. Wait, was I getting fucked on the Titanic? <laughs> <laughs> I was getting fucked. What scares me? I just picture maybe a cutscene, maybe the uh, brick <laughs> by that guy playing, and me walking into a room just being like, Dane, oh my God, you're a formidable person. How'd you allow this person to chain you to the fucking bed. Why is he fucking you? William, and me just all right, hitting him all right. on the head. All right, William, I gotta stop you. I'm gonna stop you. How about a hand, uh, William? I mean, he's just amazing. That's a real artist right yeah, there. He went overtime tonight. I just love it. <laughs> William just asked if he could open for him and then said he was kidding the and then walked away. Make time. <laughs> he's so Woo! funny. He's a crazy yeah. man, Dane. He's a whole different like, type of comedian. It was comedian. so linear and understandable yeah. it's is amazing. what I really... It was clarity. He wasn't wearing flip-flops that time. Wait, I think. he the, hit the, a the, Filipino the, girl in the CVS bathroom. Mm -hmm. I remember the, the first few times William was on, people were still a little bit confused here and there. And then all of a sudden we all realized, oh, he's lying all the time yeah. yes. about everything and it became this like whole new art form it's yeah. like reverse stand-up comedy and he does it off stage also like it'll be me and him talking and ladies and gentlemen i present to you one of my favorite top young rising comedians the great william montgomery everybody here he comes I'm crazy for oh, very funny I'm crazy. <laughs> Here he is in the flesh. Come on, guys. William Montgomery. So I, uh, I just got accepted into DeVry's psychic program. Uh, <laughs> I knew I would. I'm a fucking psychic. Uh, just not that good at it. <laughs> so I've been uh, calling a bunch of classified ads recently, uh, not really to buy anything, just to talk. And after about five minutes, they're always like, hold on, is this William? And I'm like, yeah, it is. You know, I'm lonely. You know, I used to live with my half aunt in Washington in the early 1980s. You know, she died when Mount St. Helens erupted. I think you'll like this next one. Uh, um, so, yeah, this is called Baseball. Oh, uh, yeah. Thousand-yard stare from William Montgomery to close his set. Yeah, I'm sorry. I am horribly on edge. I'm little starstruck. Love you in Kangaroo Jack. Wait a second. I don't know what that means, William. Are you taking a shot? I don't know what Kangaroo Jack is. I'm kidding. It's my favorite film. Do you know, even I'm know good with it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. How about one more time for William Montgomery? Yeah! So let's talk about it, William. DeVry Psychic. Is this true? 
It is. Yeah, I, I spent $20,000 on one of the opening tests. Uh, I was pretty sure I was going to pass. Uh, luckily, I did. Why don't, you, uh, why don't you do a reading on one of these uh, audience members? Maybe, yeah, just, why don't you pick your, uh, pick your favorite? Hey, Anthony. Um, your name's Anthony, right? Yeah. Your name's Anthony, right? How's the, your leg doing? The, the guy, by the way, fun fact, the guy he's talking to in the front row just looked back at him and said, we met two weeks ago. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> William remembers his name is Anthony. Is there someone else that you could do a hey, reading? Hey, Spencer, how's your arm doing? It looks like your fingers are limp. Is it better? We oh, used my to God. <laughs> this is a psychic that only asks people how his body parts are doing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tyler. How is your ear feeling? Hey, Ralph, I see you crossing your ankles. Uh, what happened <laughs> last <laughs> night? Did you break it? <laughs> ankles. He's his legs crossed. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Shouldn't you know what happened last night? <laughs> yeah. Aren't you, aren't, are you the psychic? Or are you giving these people a checkup? <laughs> hey, Samantha, uh, do your neck back a little bit? Are your lymph nodes uh, still swollen? Samantha is actually my cousin. Let's give it up. Wow. That actually is Samantha. I guess. She reads Braille, which means she can't see. <laughs> oh, my goodness. William, very smart. Can you, do a, uh, can you do a reading for me? Tell me something that the people don't know about me. Perhaps expose something wild right now on the show. Go ahead. Tony, what scares me, I think you're in a similar boat as me. I eat a bunch of mac and cheese, a bunch of Wendy's, Dave's Doubles. I got the app. I'm worried about your heart health. I mean, it appears you're healthy. It appears I'm healthy. Uh, Y'all might not believe that with this gut situation. I've lost 50 pounds. Wow. Thank you all so much. Nordic track. Nordic? Do you, you yeah, use it's a <laughs> ski machine. You might be the most Nordic-looking guy that's ever been on a Nordic track. A ski machine? Ski machine. So, Ian, uh, William lies about everything. Much like, he's, this is why I love him. He's an anomaly. Much uh -huh. like the opposite of the honest hooker, mm -hmm. uh, William just lies about everything, and somehow it's still, he finds a way to make it work. Yeah, that, that, that works. A good liar or honest person. That's right. He's yeah. a great liar. Yeah. Lied on, is that Spencer Stevens right there? That's an How's your eardrum doing? We were <laughs> messing around with the Q-tips last night. And you shove that motherfucker so deep in your ear. I was la We were both laughing. William, what else has been? Uh, what else has been going on this week? Anything else crazy? Not a lot. I have a RC car now. I got it off Amazon. Uh, I have an Amazon Prime account. It's a, a, a one twentieth scale of an actual Porsche. It goes super fat. Scale miles per hour. It's going 200. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, yesterday... Michael Jefferson? Whoa. Does he have a nail? How are your ribs doing? We <laughs> really tumbled down the stairs last night. Are you doing better? Cool. <laughs> wow. This is very impressive what you're doing. My mind is blown. How about uh, how about Ian? Do you have a reading for Ian? Ian, it just it's it's more of a memory. Of <laughs> <laughs> I'm really worried now. Just you and I in Nebraska. We I used to open for Ian. I'm hoping after this, you're really going to consider it again. You know, I'm living in literally the sewers. I need a gig. I'm I'm hurt. I'm lonely. Are you are you asking him for work? Yeah, just just consider yourself booked all year now. Don't worry. I got <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. Basically, we Do were in Lincoln, Nebraska, going in uh, uh, Bank of Americas, just holding them up at knife point. I had a couple knives at the time. Ian was, you were throwing those suckers around. Where'd you learn how to do that? Hey man. When you grew up in Nebraska, you know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. So, William, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break the wall. I'm going to break all the walls down here for a second. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share something with this audience. Last night, I had a spot here at the comedy store. You just so happened to be hanging out, and I chatted with you for a bit. Yeah. 
And uh, you mentioned to me that you've been seeing a girl lately for the first time. This crowd seems very intrigued now, and it seemed like you were being honest at the time, which surprised me. (laughs) I was. She is actually here tonight. The plan is afterwards. She has some really good liquid acid. We're going to go back to Reseda. Maybe I'll take two squirts tonight. Wow. Uh, And just watch Tool music videos and have to pee real bad but refuse to go out of her bedroom. Is this Literally gr- two hours in, yeah, out of an eight-hour ordeal. Is this girl's name Tokyo Cunt Punch by any <laughs> chance? Are you the guy that she thinks uh, Aww, loves her? you're the big baby, brown baby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I literally, I think I've, I've been very alone for 10 years. I think something that really sort of changed my mindset. If y'all see this gut I'm working with, I literally have Lyme's disease. I brought it up before. I Lyme's? literally... Plural? Yeah, Lyme's disease. I was bit by multiple ticks. <laughs> How'd you get bit by ticks? I was out in the woods. I, w- I was with Ian in Nebraska. <laughs> I'm no fool, man. I bring someone who's more biteable than me. You know what I'm saying? I love but yeah, it. it turned into a horrible ordeal. This was like six months ago. It was really cold. It was freezing I cold. Fun. I had fun, too. I mean, it was a hell of a time. We were yeah, out in the woods. Well, Two-person... T- <laughs> <laughs> well, William, you're so much fun, dude. I can't tell you how much I love having you on this show every single week, a new minute every week. It's well, incredible. thank you so much. There he goes, William Montgomery. So Ladies and gentlemen, you know him, you love him. It's the great William Montgomery, everybody! <laughs> in case y'all were wondering, I did, in fact, get the job at Supercuts this past week. <laughs> Let's give it up for Pat Martinez. That is a female. She gave me the job. So I, uh, I have a pretty serious balloon fetish. I think the neck is my favorite part. <laughs> it's probably one of the best jokes I've written recently that scares me. Y'all didn't laugh. I don't know if y'all thought about it, but is all that sex on nature DVDs consensual? Because I'll be quite frank, I know a meerkat named Richard Yoplay who's been raping bitches since 05. He's out of control. He takes them to motel rooms. He has unconsensual sex. Okay. What a nightmare that was. I was trying to impress you tonight. I really enjoy your comedy. What a nightmare that was. Thank you. No. (laughs) William, stop it. No, you were like Zach Galifianakis meets uh, Brody Stevens. It was kind of interesting. I I like that. I thought it was good. That's a big compliment. Yeah. Welcome back, William. How are you? Can you, (laughs) William, what what did I tell you about staring too deeply into the guest's (laughs) eyes? I've had this talk with you. He does this. He does this sometimes, Greg. I do. I do apologize. I was with my cousin last night. We were playing the Ouija board, and I was like, "Is Greg Fitzsimmons gonna like me?" And it went to the yes thing. And I looked at my cousin Grace, and she was like, "I think." But then this happens. I, I couldn't breathe last night for five minutes. Yeah. Why? Why was that? I was holding my breath in a bathtub. (laughs) Set a new record. I don't know if it's a world record or not. (laughs) William, you know, one of the fun things about your style is I can never tell what's true and what isn't. Uh, One of the interesting things that you do, do you really know a meerkat named Richard Yoplate? I wrote this down so so that I wouldn't forget... To ask you, how do you? I do. Not a lot of people know it. His father was, in fact, Frank Yoplait of the uh, 
and the it, yogurt magnate, <laughs> super rich, <laughs> didn't give a fuck. He literally, I was with him in 04 in Panama City Beach, Florida. We were giving bitches Tylenol. We were giving wait, wait, the wait, 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 William, let me, let's jump right back into that in a second. I want, don't, don't lose that spot. You're telling me that Yoplait yogurt was started by a family of meerkats? It was in uh, Senegal, Africa. Not a lot of people know that. Uh, really nice family, but he, he sort of a bad seed. I don't know if y'all saw the movie uh, The Bad Kid. <laughs> it wasn't Wait, The Bad Kid. The, the one with Macaulay Culkin. Is that Culkin. the founder that of called? Yoplait on the line? Oh, wow. That's what Brian thinks a meerkat sounds like. <laughs> William, uh, so when's the last time you saw Richard Yoplait? I saw him three weeks ago. I was in the airport, uh, <laughs> Panama City, not down in Florida, but in Central America. He was dosing people. He was giving people Advil's Tylenol. A meerkat. I'm, I'm still, I have to make sure one more time. This is a meerkat. A little meerkat, just <laughs> probably, I don't know, 13 inches long. Just he used to wear a helmet, bike helmet, and just dole out pills. And every time I'd be like, dude, people are going to know this is Advil. People are going to know this is Tylenol. It's okay, so let's talk about something for a second here, William. You've been absolutely destroying in shows. You are uh, in a, in a, in a, 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 probably the craziest, most swamped comedy market there's ever been, where everybody's trying all these different things, and one thing that nobody can deny is that you're killing in shows, right? Now, what this has started, what I've noticed, what I've picked up on a little bit, is I've noticed a lot in the last... Why didn't more people fucking clap? <laughs> What in the fuck is go? Am I in Senegal right now? I'm colorblind. <laughs> All right, okay, Brian. Very good. So, uh, William, what I've noticed is a lot of people being. I've noticed this at a barbecue that I went to the other day. Oh. Yeah. Some people, I think, are starting to get jealous mm. of you. Have you noticed this at all? It's interesting you brought up the deal on Friday. It was a nightmare. Adam's like, I'm not going to book you for a while. That's, he's talking about the talent coordinator of the comedy store, who is a, is a you know, di he's dialed in, he knows every, everything about everybody. The fact that you're getting developmental spots is a great thing at this point. You've only been in LA a year and One a of half. the sexiest people in the whole entire Los Angeles area. I do a little bit of porn. I don't know if y'all get on Pornhub. Uh, I'm so, one of the guys on the hand job videos. <laughs> so what did Adam tell you? And this was before or after your set? He was just like, William, you went over by four minutes. What's going on? I'm not booking you for a long time. That was his quote. That was his exact quote. That was his quote. Wow. And what killed me was the night before I got a D. Do you mind putting on uh, Ben Fold's brick? Ah, okay. This is an interesting uh, request. Uh. Truly what hurt me is the night before I was, I was drunk as fuck. I was on a bunch of Advil. I got a DUI. I got a DUI. I decided not to stop. I was on the freeway for three hours. I ran out of gas. I shot at the police. And literally the next day, he tells me that I don't have... I'm moving back to Memphis, y'all. I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> I've had enough. William, you say that every week. You even went long in the police chase. I did. It was... So what is this new, uh, this new look that we're seeing here? Is this something that we can expect to see more of? Is this, did you find that somewhere? I heard you might have stole it from someplace. This is called Hold Lady on, Reebok Sheet. <laughs> Wait, um, not, let's check in with uh, Detective Charles. Over yeah, there. I might have done a show with him on Friday night, and he stole it from the theater that we were at. <laughs> oh, I wow. did. This is a stolen wig from the Pack Theater. Right. I didn't have a good set. I was pissed. I thought I would steal something. We... We did a live podcast together. It was a hot car fire. <laughs> wow, really? 
Oh boy, what happened during the podcast? William, I opened up with, yeah, can you keep that song going? I opened up with, uh, I want to give it up for my deceased younger brother. He uh, died in a volcano incident in Indiana. Uh, there was a gas station called Mr. Volcanoes. He was a... Uh, in movies such as The Naked Gun, such as Anaconda. Earbud, and he was also in Kangaroo Jack. And Greg, help me out right here. I'm I'm doing really bad. I was hoping there you'd are, sort of jump in and help. Just, there, there are. I wasn't sure which direction you were going in there. I was just waiting to take a cue from you there, but you were go you were zigzagging. You know, you ever notice on that on that one uh, that one painting where like what is it like Washington's coming over what the Delaware? Yeah, the crossing of the Delaware. Right, and he always looks so regal, but you know. He's he's actually been on. I'm sure he'd been sailing for some points. Probably been a rougher day. I feel like this is probably what he actually looked like when he arrived. <laughs> Just a lot. Just pissed off about <laughs> England taxation without representation. Oh, wow. I'm moving to America on that ship. I just miss scurvy. We have some limes. Is this your George Washington impression? It is. Uh, wow. Hello, sir. Walk the plank. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. Well, William, anything else crazy happened this week that you want to talk about? Two weeks ago, I found out a stock I had for AOL went way up. I'm currently looking oh, at my 2,000 shares if I sold them right now, it'd be $300,000. I'm really thinking about that. I'm thinking about moving back down to Jackson, Mississippi. You're not even from Jackson, Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, how about one more time, good and loud, for William uh, Montgomery, everybody? He did it again. It's another fun 10 minutes of content with William, William. Montgomery, everybody. Yes, here he comes. Oh, my God. <laughs> here he is. Come on, make some noise for William, everyone. What's up, y'all? I used to play a flip cup before my immune system got compromised. The rumors are true. I have strep throat and AIDS. Let me hear y'all make some noise if you ever go to theme parks just to look at the kids. So I've been going to a bunch of theme parks recently. Uh, I go because people don't realize I'm looking at the Asian kids unable to get on the roller coaster. I only uh, go to the psychics who can tell me my past. But seriously, I do have strep throat. I think something is also wrong with my adenoids. I'm currently in a rap group called Adenoids. Jay-Z told me to tell that joke. Did he? He did. Yeah, what'd you do? I did a lot when I discovered I had HIV. I went to a clinic at first. I was... I was somewhere outside of Phoenix. I didn't necessarily trust uh, just the doctor in there, some guy named Mark Peterson. Okay. Um, how about a hand for William, everybody? I sort of sort of kept his uh, minute going a little bit longer than maybe I... Uh... So nice to be here. I'll be very frank with you all. I literally go under the knife in 24 hours. The doctor told me not to drink or do anything. I'll be honest, I'm on cough pills. You're what going you, under the knife? What are, they, what are they doing? To you? Cutting out the AIDS? What are they doing to me? I yeah. have, I'm, I'm, you don't repeat this, I'm literally, I've been way too fat for probably 15 years now. Yeah. I'm getting a liposuction uh, procedure in 72 hours. Wait, 72? So 72 what, are you doing, what are you doing in 24 hours? Yeah. <laughs> What's, what do you say? You're in the knife in surgery? 24. I'm traveling? going to a Wendy's, and I, I was excited when I heard you were on the show tonight. <laughs> yeah. 
Can I ask you to go to Wendy's with Listen, me tomorrow? I a hundred percent. Can you stand I, beside me for a second? Wait a second. I always what, have to get up. What's this happening? Always requires William. me to. William, why do you always bother the guests? Yeah, we can what, stand together. What's happening here? Let's just pretend like we're at the Wendy's. Uh, we're both about to go under the knife in less than 24 hours. We've yeah. gotten to be really good friends, yes. sort of, with me touring with you and yes. just all that comes with that. Yeah, that's not happening. Uh, but <laughs> Are you really going to mess us up? Like, No, I, so we're at a Wendy's, and I love you. Uh, <laughs> I get a Dave's Double, you get a single, I have the app on my phone. <laughs> William, are you just describing the scene, or is there going to be one? I like Wendy's. I oh. Wait, is that it? It's a girl. Wendy's in the 90s was great, but it's lost a lot of steam. What are you it's, talking about? Oh, jeez. I knew you'd wake Red Band up. I don't know if y'all <laughs> are uh, people who invest in the stock market. Look up Wendy's. They're Okay. William, why did you have Tim stand up? He always does this to me. I think it's it's. It, I I respect it. You know, it's a power move. And so are you it really cool is. just me going into the doctor's office? You're the doctor, and just you telling me I actually do have strep throat. You want me to diagnose you with strep throat? Are you cool with that? Is the doctor's office also a Wendy's? It is. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's where he okay. meets his doctor. Okay, so you're at the Wendy's. Yeah. You just ordered food, and you're about to yeah. tell him he has strep throat. And action. Malcolm. It's William. William, sorry, <laughs> I, the old one. I forget the old. One. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forget. That's the other one. We're gonna take the it from one. the top. We're gonna take That's, it from I the top. I apologize. I apologize. You know sorry. what, Dan, Dan, I'm just I'm <laughs> thinking of what I want to get at Wendy's when I leave. Danny, uh, are you up there? Maybe we could single spot this scene. Let's take it from the top. Hey, Red uh, Band, so you do just, you have MIA paper plans? No, you, you don't need paper planes to come <laughs> in at the end of this. No, we don't need we don't need music at all. They're at Wendy's. It's a doctor's office. William, thank you for coming. Tim, I'll I'll be very honest. My my st stomach started hurting a couple weeks ago. I did yeah. some research. My throat was hurting as well. I've been terrified. I have strep throat. Wait, that's wait. why I'm here. I trust you. You have that eye patch. You always wear. You have it. All. I can't believe it. Can you really not? Well, um, <laughs> as a medical professional who operates out of a Wendy's <laughs> with an eye patch, you know you're my only patient. And so it's not that I root for you to be sick, but I like seeing you. So uh, I'm glad you came in today. Uh, you do live here, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to just go ahead without a test and say you probably do have strep throat and potentially also HIV. Um, Two years so ago, the prescription for that is uh, baked potato and chili, which we make by taking the used up uh, hamburger meat uh, and putting it in, which is not sanitary, but it is tasty. And that is where I picture just literally MIA paper planes plant. Just yeah, I got to be honest. The fact that we don't have paper on the planes, edge of a fucking bridge. Yeah, it ruined jumping the bit. off. It ruined the bit. No paper planes. Thanks a lot. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it up for Dave Thomas. How do we Hell look? How do we look more homeless than the band? <laughs> <laughs> they spent an hour trying to look homeless. We just stood up. Wow. All How right, about a hand you. for uh, Tim Dillon? That was incredible. Tony, I know it's against the rules. Yeah. I think I've said it all two times, just repeating the Squirrel album joke. And I said, I feel like Tim likes it. I love the joke. It's yeah. my best thing. Family Channel has me just notched in on an episode of Rescue 911 because of it. Are you trying to be... Let me ask you a question. <laughs> This look here tonight, I, I'm noticing something. Are you trying to be the first male comedian to do a pregnant special? Yeah. You know, Burt Kreischer already did two of those. Hey, Tony, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Wait, how, how did you get pregnant, William? Tell me about it. There was a dude uh, in the Philippines I met. Yeah. He what? seemed really nice. I told him I appear that I'm a male, but I actually have ovaries. Where are the ovaries located? 
sort of in my tummy area. I feel like that's why I wore the shirt so tonight. Where, I'm literally pregnant. Where did? This. Yeah, where did he? If they're in your tummy, where did he put his penis? Uh, it was uh, behind a lady's footlocker. No, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Can you play that a little longer? Because this is what I... You love that song. Wait, oh my God, he's dancing. Whoa! We've never seen William dance in any of his appearances. He does some type of like sick robot dance. Wow. This is incredible. Wow, he just went still. It's like he's... It's like he's on some type of turnstile. Who is that bitch in the back not laughing? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I'm pouring my heart and soul out tonight. Are you Persian? Whoa, whoa, William, William. Why do you go straight to Persian? What do you? I tried out for Aladdin. I didn't make a. <laughs> What part? It, what role in Aladdin? I lived in the sewers. I'll be very honest. I don't tell a bunch of people that. I almost drowned a couple times. You live in sewers? Yeah, I've literally been in the sewers. <laughs> looking for food, looking for my aunt, wondering where my uncle is, wondering where my Monopoly board is. I love that game. Ventnor Avenue? Okay. William's having Monopoly flashbacks here. Uh, Mediterranean, no thanks. <laughs> no thanks? You don't like to slum it up sometimes? Well, too many Hispanics. Whoa, my God. You have attacked Persians and Hispanics. Phil, what do you think about that? Honestly, I spaced out. I was thinking about my secretary when that <laughs> happened. <laughs> All right, William. Well, another very fun set. You're absolutely so different. And I just want to say one last thing. Literally, I haven't been on YouTube in eight fucking months. Yeah. There is that piece of shit, Cracker Barrel Kid, 55, literally going to my parents' house when I accidentally gave out the address. He went there? What He's did he do? He's been playing Ring and Run. He's been rolling their trees in toilet paper. My father is very sick. He has Lyme's disease. Big hiker got bit by a t- <laughs> tick. My goodness. I can't, but well, what, what would you like to say to Cracker Barrel Kid if he's watching tonight? What I would like to say is... I think it'd be cool if you and I could meet. I feel like maybe we'd like one another. I think maybe we would enjoy one another songs choices. I think Wait, what? We would What about song choices? I Wait, just Did you maybe just find MIA paper planes for the first time last week? Here's what scares me. One last thing I'll say, I'm trying to play it cool saying this right now, but the amount of tear he's wreaked on my life, just in my fantasy world, I have a pistol in my hand, and I kick in his fucking bedroom door and just shoot him a bunch of times. You're talking about Cracker Barrel Kid 55, a, a troll on YouTube that comments on all your videos. Okay. <laughs> Well, thank How about God. one more time for the great William Montgomery, huh? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you one of my favorite top young rising comedians in the world from Memphis, Tennessee, the great and powerful William Montgomery. Here he goes. Here he is. Live in the flesh, William lights out Montgomery. I have never stolen that much food from a Kmart before. That is something I said to a police officer two weeks ago before I went to jail. Alexa, play, I work at a Kmart, and all my coworkers are talking shit, and I swear to God, if they don't stop, I'm going to come back into this fucking Kmart with an AK-47 and shoot everyone. Hey, William, just say hi to people this time. That's an impression of my mother whenever we're at the grocery store. Alexa, play I work at a Kmart, 
and I swear to God, if my coworkers don't stop talking shit, I'm going to come up in there with some Speedo goggles and an AK-47 and kill everyone. Fuck yeah. He did it again, William Montgomery, using some of this week's topical subject matter. Too soon? I don't think so. Never. I don't think so. That's incredible. That You're so. really attacking the, uh, the news of the week, William. I, like I, uh, I started watching NBC. I have a distant uncle who has a lot of stock options in that. Let's go NBC. I don't know if y'all are familiar uh, with The Grudge. That's a movie that NBC sponsored. It's a great horror movie. Uh-huh. I find you fucking offensive, okay, to come on stage in sandals. I don't give a shit about mass shootings, but the top... Come on, stage at the comedy show. I have set. hammer toe. Oh. You have hammer toe? What's I that? have hammer toe. What is that? What, what, William, can you... That's one of the reasons I'm going back up in that Kmart. <laughs> William, can you explain to us all, I've never heard of hammer toe before. What is that? How does that happen? <laughs> well, it, it started 10 years ago. I was working at the zoo in Memphis, Tennessee. I was working in the aquarium area. <laughs> Wore aqua socks a bunch. Uh, aqua socks? Aqua socks. What are those? It's a uh, it's a shoe one can keep going. One wears in a lake or a stream. Um, aqua okay. socks. Yeah. Okay. So you're wearing aqua socks, and then what happened? How do you get And then toe? probably five weeks later, uh, I I finally took them off for the first time, and I looked down at my toes. <laughs> And literally, my big toe on my right foot looked like a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> so you kept the aqua socks on for five weeks straight? I did. I didn't know what to do. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Those are the shoes with toes? Yeah. See, what scares me is if you were working in that Kmart... And I had those Uzis, I had my, my Speedo goggles on, and you asked me that, I'll be quite frank, I think I would spare you. I would be so horrified, I'd be like, no, these aren't the five fingers, they're aqua socks, and I think both of us would laugh, and, <laughs> and I would just resume down maybe the aisle uh, where the fish are, just with my Uzi, spraying bullets. <laughs> Wow. And uh, don't ask what's in my knapsack, because uh, it's pipe bombs. Is that true? You have pipe bombs in there? It's pretty true. It's pretty true? It's pretty true. I looked up a, a, a diagram. Uh, I love it. All you do is smash, William. How's life been going? What else has been going on this past week? Been pretty good. Hanging out with that girl. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Still doing some acid. Yeah. Still looking at her in the face, just thinking, oh, my God, I think I like... I've, I'll be honest. I have, I've been lonely for 10 years. I've only ever had one girlfriend. Met this one young lady. She seems nice. Uh, but, yeah, tripping on acid, just thinking I have to pee. Just in her bedroom, her grandparents are on the other side of the door. Is that true? It is true. She lives with her grandparents? She does. And that's where you go to hook up with her? You go to the grandparents' house? When you say hook up, I hope you all realize just sort of a, a scene, maybe MIA paper planes playing. <laughs> her putting on a surgical plastic, whether it be plastic, whether it be just some sort of plastic material just yeah please thank yep. you just her putting those on me taking wait two what type of plastic of liquid hold on acid. william william you got to slow it down you just said plastic material where's she putting the plastic material she is slowly whispering in my ear it's not saying, the question william I you so go ahead just do your thing, William. William, you seem so nice. I'm open to putting uh, one of my fingers around your bottom. Oh. And, then and what? she says that, and I'm tripping, and I look at her, and I get the pistol that I carry in my backpack, and I put it up to her head, 
And I'm just like, bitch, I swear to God, I'm on fucking edge. If you say that shit again. <laughs> hey. All right. Wow. William, you are quite the artist. Um, it is incredible, your style and what you're able to accomplish. I did want to say I, I looked y'all up. Y'all do the conspiracy theory yep. things. What about the people on that airplane that hit one of the towers in New York? What about their... Did that really happen or not? What is the deal with that? Wait, what? What's up with that? What kind of question is that, William? Planes, what planes? Just one of the planes that hit one of the buildings in New York City. Uh Uh-huh. Planes? What is is that? The When did that happen? 1974. Oh, (laughs) that one you're talking about. Oh, that... Okay. That really I hope happened. y'all are taking notes. That is where, if you are are totally realizing you've made a horrible mistake, and they're like, "Oh, when say 1974." <laughs> wow, that acid is ru- ru- ruining your life, William. So you've been having sex with this girl that you found. Sexual intercourse on acid with a gun to her head. Yeah, but. You bet you've been putting your wiener inside of her little toot toot? Her little uh, lady I, parts? I have not said any name. I'll be very frank. I'm playing the pullout game, which I've never done before. What does the pullout game mean to you? What do you. It entails me and her being side by side, MIA paper planes yeah. blaring. Yeah. Blaring? What about the grandparents? So they, they don't mind that song? I'll be very honest, sort of in the heat of the moment, I whisper in her ear, Yeah. and I'll change names here, but I'll just be like, hey, I think Scott is listening. Wait, <laughs> whose name is that? The grandparent? And it scares me, and then I stop, and then I think I've been smoking and drinking too much. My penis is not working how it used to. <laughs> Yeah, how's and it, that scares how's me. How's it working now? How's it? Does it have hammer, hammer toe? Yeah, does it, it work? works. Just me being beside her, just sort of fantasizing about being in a Kmart, maybe a couple Uzis. Okay. Uh, hey, William. There he does goes. It. When you hear the Hispanic same thing twice, people. that means that the interview's over. Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, the great well, William Montgomery. Joe Kive, who makes the videos? Joe Kive.